So today we are having good and bad news coming in from the camp of Manchester United. As far as Jordan Sancho is concerned, there is a story about Donovan being injury update coming in from the manager of Manchester United. And last we're going to talk about the new signing of Manchester United that Fabrizio Romano has gone ahead to confirm that it's a here we go and United is going to announce him today that he is Friday before they go into the match of Everton. It's match day today. United is playing Everton on the on the Friday today. I think it's going to be a late night kickoff. Obviously, United really wants to go on and really go through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. This is the third round. You're playing against Everton. And obviously, we are really going to see how that's going to be. Meaning that today we are having two live sessions towards the first towards an hour to the start of the match we come in through with the match build up and the confirmed team news then after the game we come back with what we call the match reaction that is really something that we always do here on this channel and guys don't miss out on it because it's always interactive after giving you the match reaction i always go through your live questions and your opinions and we discuss for like close to one hour not so those who know it know it so make it a point that you are always with us here onto the united matters channel so guys much like button comment and share and if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily now ten hag yesterday held a pre-match press conference of the game of everton and amidst some of the things that never really came in through from the live press conference that really came in through from the boss of match united was this question of jordan sancho and ten hag said to say that he was in netherlands but the good thing is he's back in Carrington and that shows he's making progress and he's ready for the next step. Now, Sancho, ready for the next step. Sancho, making progress. What a day. What a way to come in through and really have a story coming in from the manager himself. Meaning that Sancho is not far away from playing a game for Manchester United. You might find him into the squad of United playing Charlton or Man City. I believe by the end of next week, Sancho would have been integrated into the starting or the 11 of Manchester United because he really has a lot of things to do for the club of Manchester United. So the manager has given us positive news of Jordan Sancho and this is what we've always wanting to know about Sancho because he is really a very important member of the squad. He's coming in through and it's going to be like a new signing for the club of Manchester United because if you watch the game of Chelsea yesterday and Man City, the reason as to why Man City beat Chelsea, it was because of the gears that Man City had on the bench. That's it. They brought on Mahares and Jack Grealish. The two combined together to see to it that Jack Grealish went in with an inch perfect cross that really found that really found Mahares at the back post and tapped that ball in the back of the net. That's it. And that's how everything really went in to happen for a team called Man City. For Chelsea, because they never had gears that are really enough from the bench, they really had to suffer because they brought on Chuku, Chuku, Chukuweka, um, which is a player. The, the, Sterling, Sterling was off. Chukuweka came in through. Then Pulisic was off. I don't even remember whom they brought in. Then later, the last three substitutions, they brought in a, a 19-year-old left back whom we don't even know. They brought in Hutchinson. They bought from Arsenal. He's 19 years of age. And Conor Garaga. You get they lacked gears to really up that game or up the intensity to threaten Man City. Yet they had played very well. You get Arsenal fall, fell on the sword of Newcastle to draw 0 0 at Emirates because they lacked gears from the bench. The only person they could lift or get off their bench was only one, Tommy Yasuo, and he's a defender. All of the forwards they had, the Fabio Vieras, Marquinos, they don't trust them. That's why they never really gave them a chance to go on the field of play and really give them what they deserve. So it shows you the importance of Sancho coming in through and really progressing very well because it's going to be like a new signing. Even if he's coming from the bench in the next two, three games, then later when you're playing teams like Barcelona, he's already ready to get this job done and dusted. That will be something great for the club of Manchester United because that makes us a different team altogether, especially threatening our opponents you get because if at all now you're having the starting 11 of united david de Gea, dalo luke shaw lisandro martinez veran casimiro ericsson bruno fernandez rashford anthony and anton martial now that means your bench is having sancho alejandro ganacho donny van de beek um, 
Harry Maguire, Victor Linderoff, Tarell Malassia, Anthony Elanga, Facundo Pelestri. You get at least for that, you can go on and really be a scare to your opponent. If at all you want to go ahead and really, I had even gotten Freddie and Scott McTominay. Oh, we are really having a lot. You get, if at all we sign in another center forward in the winter transfer window, as Ten Hag is calling for one, either Depay, Yao Felix, Chipu Moting, um, maybe Marcus Thuram. Alvaro Morata will be having another striker to see to that we are having a threat of the bench. That is the most important thing that is going to take us to the next level. Having two players in every position to see to it that with the number of games coming in thick and fast, we need to find ourselves in a way or in an order that is really going to go ahead and really not face, not face our opponents. We are really weak because injuries are like injuries. Look at Donny Van Bink injured and the manager is going to give us an update about him so that's an extra i'm going to go on and really put in the next one minute in here so we need to see jordan sancho back and this is great from the manager and obviously simon stone from bbc also said eric ten hag on jordan sancho returning there are some processes you can't force and this is one of them football players are not robots so ten hag went ahead to confirm to us that the situation that sancho is facing is not an injury <laughs> that's it he had a physical problem, a mental problem, an attitude problem. That's why he went ahead and really deleted all his posts from Instagram because he was going through turmoil. So Sancho is being handled the best way. And thanks to Eric Ten Hag that in this era, it's Eric Ten Hag, it's Eric Ten Hag that is here. If at all it was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I don't believe he would have really managed the situation. He, never has, he, he doesn't have the experience to handle such situations because it's Solskjaer that sparked off the situation that Sancho is into because... When he was signing him, he told him, you are going to be a starter in my club. Sancho comes in through, he trains very well, and he comes off the bench. Very many games, Sancho was coming off the bench. So, how can you buy a player, 73 million pounds, and play him off the bench? That's really, that's really a fiasco for any manager. It's uncalled for. It's abysmal. You get, you can't bench a player of 73 million pounds i understand you can bench him for the first game and you bring him in the next 30 and bring him in the 60th minute or the half hour mark then the next game he has to start because you have to give him confidence the more time you spend without giving him the game of football the more he's really going to lose out mentally and his confidence is going to slash down look at jagen club has he ever dropped, dropped doe nunes but doe nunes has missed out on Seaters, close to 10 seaters ever since this season started in the Premier League, Carabao Cup, mm, Champions League. But the manager insists on really keeping him on the field of play because he knows the best way to get the best out of him is not to drop him. Haaland comes in, he's being started game in, game out. So that's what the manager is supposed to be doing. Look at Anthony. Anthony comes in through. I think he signed for United on... I think it was on Wednesday. Everything was done on Thursday. He trained with United. Guess what? We are playing Arsenal on a Saturday. Comes on the field of play. Plays 60 minutes and scores his first goal in his debut against Arsenal. That's what the manager means when a player is coming in on a very hefty price. You don't bench that player. And everything that Sancho is going in through, who sparked it up, it was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But I believe very soon, like a week from now, Sancho is going to be ready to be integrated into the squad of Manchester United. And I believe he's yet back to the levels he's supposed to be on. That is Jordan Sancho for Manchester United. Now, for the very first time, Elton Naga is going to have to reveal something concerning the injury of Donny van de Beek. Remember, Donny van de Beek walked off the pitch in the 43rd minute through pain. He felt like crying. You get... His knee was paining, swollen. So the manager was asked after the game, any update about Donny van Bink? He said 24 hours. Now, after 24 hours, he has been asked about the current situation of Donny van de Beek. And this is what he really had to say. Ten Hag said, not yet. We are still doing investigations at the moment. It's a knee injury. And at the moment, we have it. We have it. The information clear. We will bring it to you. So, all of us knew that it was the knee, it was an in, it was in the knee injury for Donny van de Beek, but all we know is that he's not going to undergo surgery because if I was going to undergo a surgery, that scan would have been already revealed to us. But I believe he's going to be taken through some physical 
physical physical recovery sessions so it will get back to where he's supposed to be so it's really saddening that when the man has really gotten back to the Donny van Beek we've been seeing because in the last two games before the game of of Bournemouth where he got an injury from he looked really very well in the game of Nottingham he looked very well in the game of Wolverhampton Wanderers he really looked very well so I expected him to start in the game of Bournemouth. He came in through, he started, played some good minutes, 43, and then he got an injury. And this shows you how bad it is for a player like Donny van de Beek. But the good thing is that he's in the right hands of the manager who knows him. He knows how to see him get back to the level he's supposed to be on. And I believe he is strong and he knows that coming at Manchester United was not a blunder. And he is also going through all that because of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. In the first games he played for Manchester United when he had just signed for us, he looked sharp. He looked sharp. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer went ahead to bench this player and not even give him minutes. Even when United came in through and really scored very many goals, Donny van Beek couldn't make the field. So that really sent him into desperation. He was loaned to Everton. He got an injury. So injuries have been part of Donny van Beek's career ever since he came to the Premier League. I don't know why. Is his physicality... Is, is his physicality lacking i don't know the cause of the injuries of donny van de Beek. but all in all i really believe that this is going to go to this is going to come to pass very soon and this guy is going to be back fully fit to play for the team so let's pray to it that donny van de Beek heals in time to see to it that he really returns and plays for united because he was nearly getting there to the donny van de Beek that was going to be useful to us this season as things stand so smash the like button comment and share and if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not miss that on stories that we do upload in here on a daily yesterday we talked about jack butland the goalkeeper that united is going to sign on loan he was undergoing his medical at carrington and guess what fabricio romano has something for us as far as this guy is concerned fabricio is telling us that manchester united have completed the signing of jack butland done now sealed official statement expected on friday English goalkeeper joins United on loan from Crystal Palace. No buy option, medical already done. Manchester United goalkeepers will be David De Gea, Butland, and Heaton. That's what Fabricio is really confirming to us. And obviously, it's something good to see to it that a team like Manchester United has really gotten in Butland for siding, not part of the plan that was caused by the return of De Brevka to Newcastle because he was recalled back. But obviously, to me, he had failed the eye test because he really had a very horrible game against, against Aston Villa, Burnley. Even away in Spain, he really looked terrible. And I believe Jack Butland is a better goalkeeper than De Brevka. But it really sounds good that we are really having this goal, those goalkeepers in. And let's continue to pray to it that he really goes ahead to play very well. And you might find him in goal, all in between the, the stitches or the goal posts in the game of Charlton. That's what we're going, the game we're going to be playing on. Is it Tuesday or Monday? One of those two games. Let me see. When are we playing Charlton? Manchester United? Where, where are you? Manchester United, where are you? Where are you? We are playing Charlton on Tuesday. That's it. So we are playing Charlton on Tuesday. That means you might find him in the stages because he is really going to be registered and I believe David De Gea is not going to be part of that game because Ten Hag really wants to rest his entire team that is going to face City on on the 14th. Not so. We are playing City on the 14th of January. That's going to be a Saturday. It's really going to be an evening kickoff so we will be here waiting to see how everything is going to turn on so again as Charlton we are really going to be having I think huge changes expect Butland or Hitton to be in goal Aaron Bissaka right back left back look show central defense Harry Maguire Victor Lindero of midfield I think we can even be having Scott McTominay and Freddie then Bruno will come in through and play a part no, Bruno won't play part because he really got a second yellow card, meaning that Ericsson will come in through and play into that position. Then you'll find players like Ganacho starting. Anton Martial may be playing in some minutes and um, maybe Anton Elanga. You get? Then in the game of Everton, we're going to play today, as I never did the preview. 
let me really give you a snippet of what I believe, of how, of how I believe the team is going to be standing today. David De Gea, goalkeeper. Right back is going to be Delo. Left back is going to be, I think it's going to be Malasia. It might be Malasia today. Then central defense, Lisandro Martinez on the left side of the central defense. Rafael Verani playing on the right side of the central defense. Casimiro. Ericsson, double pivot. Bruno Fernandes is going to play as a central attacking midfielder. Anthony, right attacking midfielder. Rashford, left attacking midfielder. Anton Martial will lead the line for United today because he has gone ahead to hold a very good record concerning Everton. And remember, in that game that saw us win the FA Cup, it was him that really knocked out Everton, I think, on or in the final. Was it the semi final? I think it was the semi final. So that's how United win that FA Cup in the era of Louis van Gaal. And that marked the last game of him at Manchester United. And he was really sucked by Ed Woodward. So, guys, what are your thoughts on Sancho progressing well at United? Don't even big injury update. And Jack Botland to be announced today as a first United signing of the January transfer window. Guys, I sign out for now. See you later. I hand you over to the human lord to watch you abundantly. I'm out, my mates. See you later.